Hey, it's Carl with Electric Bike Blog, and I'm here with the really cool Sun Pony, which my friend Lawrence Clarkberg made. Uh, it's a solar-powered e-bike that's tandem, side-by-side, -side, that he's going to use for a cross-country trip, and it has three separate motors on it, two mid-drives and a direct-drive motor on the front, which does regen braking. So this is the Sun Pony with its creator, Lawrence, and you can see it's got two solar panels that are, what, 100, 120 watts? 170 watts. 170 watts. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And then it has a, direct, a Grin direct drive. Uh, all axle. What's it called? All axle. An all axle uh, direct drive motor, which uh, allows him to do regenerative braking. You can see he's got one, two, three shark packs on it and it has <clears throat> two mid drives so normally this bike uh, doesn't support mid drives but it's got a special luna adapter so you can mount this uh, bottom bracket and, and what motor is this again lawrence uh, tsdz2 doesn't quite roll off the tongue <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's a mid drive they do 800 watts each and then how many watts is the is the direct drive motor in the front? About 1600 watts. Awesome. And so, Maybe. yeah, that's really cool. And then it's he put a custom, he welded a custom uh, front brake here. That looks like a huge rotor. Yeah. What's the a size? One, a 180. A 180 with what looks like a BB7 cable brake. So that really helps. Originally it came with a drum brake on the front, right? And then it has coaster brakes on each rear wheel but totally inadequate for getting down the hills here. Right, so if we look at the back, the this bike originally was a pedal bike and it has uh, two Nexus three-speed internal geared hubs with a coaster brake set up on it. So, and then here in the center, you can see that splits the axle. The nice thing about this particular mid-drive, unlike the BBS-02 and the BBS-HD, is it allows you to back pedal so that you can actually use the coaster brakes uh, with this setup. So, um, and then the solar panels are adjustable so you can sort of turn the bike to the sun and, uh, and adjust it so you get maximum exposure. And then uh, while it's riding, he has a, a small pin and uh, you can see Lawrence welded this himself so that the solar panels mount on here. So, yeah, so that's sort of the position you would use when you're riding the bike, right, Lawrence? Yeah, and just a little cotter pin. Oh, Holds and it, it locks in place. into place so it doesn't move. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So anything else you want to say about this bike? Um, I'd say it's a really nice to have the side-by-side -side seating when you're touring with a friend because you can sit and talk and one person can steer while the other person reads a book or has lunch. So we plan to be on this bike for like hours at a time, for, for months at a time. So we want it to be really comfortable and, and, a, and a good ride. There is some, some issue that um, if the shoulder of the road isn't very wide, it's kind of awkward to stick out in the road. And you'd think motors would be really mean about that, um, but so far we've been using it for for months, and and no no one's been mean about that. Right, you said, and people give you thumbs up and honk yeah, sometimes. Yeah, they, they someone really honked like... at us, but then they held the thumbs up, and people wave to us, and it and it always, whenever we stop, a line forms of people wanting to ask us about awesome. it. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> And so do you find that the solar panels are uh, create any problems with like the thing trying to blow over or when trucks pass you or anything like that? You know, I, we haven't had any issue with the, with the wind and, and, it's, and it's not very fast. I think the top speed is maybe 20 miles an hour. So it's, there's not so much of a wind drag issue. Um, and you said the average speed was about 30 kilometers an hour, right? Um, yeah. Well, that's more like the top speed. Oh, the top, top speed. speed. All right, and you can also see he's got some uh, lights here, uh, some headlights on the front panel right here. And then on the back, he's got uh, lights here on the back of the panel here, too. Yeah, and those are from Electrify, where 
they had a nice setup where the 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 um, TSDZ motor have a, a connector through the the speed sensor that can provide six volts for the lights and all waterproof connectors so it's really nice. awesome yeah well it's nice to have it waterproof for a long trip you plan on taking this from new york all the way to nevada for burning man yeah and uh and how much do you have all into the bike you would you say for everything maybe five thousand dollars yeah the, the trike itself without the motors and solar panels was about we I got it used for a thousand dollars new. It's two thousand, and then yeah, each of the three motors is five hundred to a thousand dollars, and the solar panels maybe another thousand dollars. Yeah, and you've got a cycle analyst on there, and you've got the you sort of really into the grin stuff. The cycle, uh, what's the controller the, called the, again? The phase runner. The phase runner, and then he also has a cycle satiator so that he can charge the batteries uh, if he gets to a plug. Yeah, uh, if you need to. And the the solar panels use this nice Genesun uh, MPPT charge controller, which is super efficient and it's potted and everything, so it's very robust. Awesome. So I really like that. Yeah, controller. and the nice thing too is that he's got it set up so that the solar charge controller charges the batteries while you're riding, right? So you don't have to be stopped. I mean, it's just always charging. Yeah, right? always charging. We often found that um, like on the flats the the mid-drive motors can use about 300 watts and the solar panels are collecting about 300 watts so we get to our destination and our batteries are still full that's awesome yeah so yeah being able to ride this thing day after day across the country with all your stuff it's a it's quite an amazing uh, contraption and it's sort of amazing to me that more people aren't building something like this because it just seems like yeah, I mean, if you could take something like this and instead of an RV, you could just go anywhere you want. This the freedom and not having to pay for gas, you know. I yeah, mean, it's yeah. We 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 um, were really impressed by the Sun Trip, which is a cross Europe race of people who built maybe twenty or thirty people who builds vehicles like this and um, race across Europe, and they're planning to do one in this in America pretty soon. We might we might enter in that race. Oh, awesome. Um, and we, when we're camping, we carry uh, an inverter and we can, um, so that we can connect the, the e-bike batteries to our inverter and, and, and plug in a hot plate. So you have an induction So you can plate. cook with that. You don't have to use propane. So they have yeah. a large bin that goes here behind the seats. That's where you store all your stuff. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Lawrence. Awesome build, and I uh, hope you make it across the country without any issues.